Right now, there are individuals who live offshore from the United States who are using Ibogaine to effectively treat symptoms associated with multiple sclerosis, Lyme disease, and Parkinson's disease. Just about two weeks ago, Governor Perry and I had the privilege of spending some time with a researcher who is based out of the University of Zurich in Switzerland. This researcher has developed a protocol for the treatment of Parkinson's symptoms with Ibogaine. We had the privilege of visiting with one of his patients who wishes to remain anonymous, as well as a family member of this patient. We were shown a video whereby this individual had developed Parkinson's disease at the age of 41. It had advanced so aggressively that by age 51, this gentleman was completely bedfast. As a last resort, he underwent an invasive intracranial surgical procedure called deep brain stimulation, where they drilled holes through his skull and implanted electrodes which were designed to stimulate the production of what is called glioneurotropic growth factor, which essentially stimulates the dopamine receptors to produce dopamine, the absence of which is implicated in the development of Parkinson's disease. And while this gentleman was no longer bedfast, he was not able to volitionally control his bodily movements. The, the video that we saw demonstrated his attempts to stand and walk and the ability to walk was non-existent. After uh, he had undergone the deep brain stimulation, he signed up for euthanasia services in the country in which he lives because it is legal and he was at the end of his rope. He underwent a four-week course of upward titration with low-dose Ibogaine that did not produce a psychoactive experience. And at the end of those four weeks, that gentleman was able to stand, walk, and function as a normal human being. The outcome is nothing short of miraculous. His mother said that he rode his bike uh, every day now. I mean, I'm telling you, Joe, this is the most stunning. I mean, it's a short video. I get it. It's anecdotal. But for my purposes, it was just backing up what we have seen and what we've learned about how Ibogaine. Now, the treatments down in Mexico are flood doses. 